Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about word embeddings. So for this, I am gonna use uh, Glow. So this is like a advanced uh, feature extraction uh, technique that you can able to use in uh, uh, text data. So Glow is like a unsupervised learning uh, algorithm for obtaining vector representation for words. So this is almost like similar to uh, word to vec. It's also like uh, used like a neural network, and uh, its training has been done on an aggregated global word-to-word -word co occurrence statistics from a corpus and the resulting representations showcase uh, interesting linear substructures of a word vector space. So what it does is it will just convert the words into a uh, vectors and uh, it has been trained with a big corpus. So it's not like um, uh, we have trained with like a few corpus uh, like we have done in the previous uh, video. But here uh, it has been trained with a large number of uh, words. So it has more contextual uh, information. So let's say if you are um, uh, referring to king and uh, men means uh, it has like close inference because uh, they have like same gender. So that's how it has uh, more contextual information compared to all the previous uh, algorithms what we have seen so far. And for this example, I'm going to use Glow. Uh, with 100 dimension uh, vectors. So it has all the uh, word embeddings in this uh, uh, text. You have to download it and uh, keep it in the same uh, folder as you are running this uh, notebook. So you can download it from this link. And uh, I am going to use uh, Twitter sentiments. We already done some uh, pre-processing. If you don't know how to do the pre-processing means you can click on the right top corner of this video to see that. So I just uh, got some few pre-processing techniques from the previous video and uh, let's run this now. So this will just uh, do the pre-processing and it will give you the good data. Okay, I think the import module is missing. So from nltk.corpus corpus import stop words. So let's run this again. Okay, we have got the clean tweet. So this is the clean tweet and we are going to use this uh, clean text uh, to convert this into a word embedding. So for this, let's start by importing few modules. So from keras dot preprocessing preprocessing dot text import tokenizer tokenizer and after that, okay, this is suggesting just now from keras dot in preprocessing dot sequence import pad sequence. So these are the two modules we are going to use. First, let's tokenize that text. Tokenize text. First, let us initialize the tokenizer. So this is similar to word tokenizer. You can are uh, able to uh, see this in the previous videos as well. So it will just uh, split the whole sentence into like uh, individual words as like a tokens. So tokenizer dot fit on text fit on text df of clean text. So this is the data we are going to pass. And after that, we have to get the index of each words. So word index equals tokenizer dot word index. And uh, from this, you can get the vocabulary size. Vocab size equals len of word index. And let's see how many words we have. So we have around like 39,000 words in the whole uh, data here and uh, each uh, word will have a corresponding index from that index only we are going to do the embedding so this is tokenization of text and after that we have to pad the data padding text data text data uh, because we have to convert the uh, whole text into a uniform list of features so that's why we are using padding so for this sequences sequences equals tokenizer dot text to sequence 
of df of clean text and after that padded padded sequence equals pad sequence of pass the sequence that we have got here and uh, here you have to specify the max length we will just uh, quickly find the maximum length that is available in the data and padding type that will be post so if you are reach the end means it will just pad after that and uh, truncating equals post so if it exceeds the maximum length means it will just truncate the data uh, but currently we don't need that or if you have like a large uh, text article something like that means you can use this truncating variable now let's see the max uh, length so i'll just say max of len of uh, data for data in df of clean text and this okay this is the maximum length so you can just say it as like maximum length so i'll just have 131 so this is the maximum length it will have and uh, so this is how you can uh, find the maximum length i'm just iterating through all the samples and find the maximum so this is similar to list comprehension so you can learn that in a python tutorial now let's run this so it would have padded all the sequence let's display like one sample so padded sequence padded sequence of zero see this is the whole uh, like this words are converted to index and these are the additional padding we have done so it all depend on the data you have so the maximum data is like 131 so that's why we are having the array of length 131 if you have more words means it also will be converted into like a, a index so that is how this uh, pad sequence work and after this let's go for that uh, word embedding so we are going to create the embedding index first create embedding index so for the index we will be having the corresponding uh, vectors so that's how we are going to create so embedding index equals a dictionary so with open of glove text and the encoding equals utf8 utf sorry this will be hyphen 8 as f now for line in f values equals line dot split i'm just splitting the whole uh, text into like a, a list and uh, from the value i am just getting the word so it will start with the word and the remaining rest of the uh, index will have like the ve vectors so values values of zero and after that coefficients coefficients equals np dot as array okay i have to import another module i'll just import it here import numpy as np now np dot as array of values of from first index uh, till the rest of the index it will just get all the values and uh, data type d type equals float 32 because uh, it will be in the vector form what we have like in the previous video so this is like a uh, vector so that's why i am having uh, as like float 32 float 32 and after that embedding index of word equals coefficients coefs for the corresponding word we will be having the vector representation so using this we have created the embedding index so this will do the processing and after that 
we will create the embedding matrix create embedding matrix so this embedding matrix will be passed to the neural network so you can uh, pass this in the neural network uh, in the embedding layer uh, before that let's display the embedding index with the corresponding word uh, let's have like good run this see it has the like a similar representation for the corresponding word it will just uh, give you the 100 dimension vector so this is the vector for uh, word good and uh, here in the matrix what i'm gonna do is embedding matrix here i'm gonna create like um, np dot zeros i'm just initializing initializing with ocap size plus one comma uh, the number of dimensions in the embedding matrix so that will be 100 dimensions so this is the embedding matrix now for word comma i in word index dot items so i'm just uh, iterating through the words and the corresponding index so here i'll just say embedding vector equals embedding index dot get word get word so get is useful if the word is present in the in this dictionary of uh, index it will just give you the appropriate uh, index values or else it will just give us a uh, zero so if embedding index sorry embedding vector is not none then i will just have the embedding matrix of i equals embedding vector embedding vector so here what i am doing is i am just uh, creating a matrix for the corresponding word uh, index so here in the word index so this is the word index let's uh, display a few items word index so this is the word index if you see means it's having the word and the corresponding index values so for user the index value is one so what it does is i'll just come on this because it will be a big uh, word index so for the corresponding index let's say one means it will have the uh, vectors of user so that's how we are going to like create all the embedding matrix let's run this once now if you say len of embedding matrix or instead of that embedding matrix dot shape see it has all the vocabulary like 39086 uh, that is the total vocab size and have 100 dimensions it will have uh, the embedding matrix for all the vocab vocabulary available so using this embedding uh, matrix you can uh, feed into the uh, neural network model and do and go for a further processing so this will capture like more information compared to uh, the previous uh, feature extraction techniques as i said before and uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, you can now uh, proceed further uh, for uh, implementing the model if you want to know the whole process with the project example means you can click on the right top corner of this uh, video to see that and uh, that's pretty much it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos stay tuned for the next video